sorry, I should stop talking about the HK85. It's called this because it can cut 85 mil off a track and 80 mil on a track. And that's a nice little touch that where the Allen key sits and it locks the blade at the same time as you're pulling out the Allen key. By no means is this saw a wimp. It's a 2300 watt motor, I believe. I originally bought it to, uh, when I was milling timber, I needed a, a saw that could just whip off the edges and stuff pretty quickly with a nice deep cut like this has. By no means is this saw cheap. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a bit of a luxury to be honest with you, but it's cheaper than a cabinet saw with a dado stack. And I mean, you need three horsepower or something to run those bad boys. Oh, the joy of plywood, I love it. It's never 80 mil, it's never 70 mil, it's never 90 mil, it's never three quarters of an inch. It's a prick. Whatever you do, I mean, so if you're going to try and route these, I mean, you can see here that I've got, I think, what, 18 mil cutter here, give or take. Well, that's still going to be half a mil shy of that piece of ply. And even with a 19 mil cutter, you still got the same problem, you're half a mil shy. And quite often, I do see or hear a lot in groups, people say, I've got three quarter inch ply and they've bought an 80 mil cutter. Because some people call it 80 mil ply. Three quarter inch is actually 19.5 mil. And ply is never, ever the same thickness. It's, it can be all over the place. It's a real pain in the arse. You're probably thinking, what the f This looks like a spindle molder block. It goes in a track saw, really? Yeah, I know, it's just, that's the best part of it. You can take a tool to the workpiece. It's great. Now, the really nice thing about this is how it works. Inside that block, once opened up, is all these shims, two mil, one mil, three mil, half a mil. So you can, you've got 0.5 millimeter increments, which you don't get with router cutters. The minimum width cut this can do is 16 mil and it goes up to 25 mil the depth of cut maximum depth of cut is 35 mil which is pretty damn decent i can't think of a reason i'd need to do any more than that now admittedly this isn't cabinet grade birch ply i mean it's fe ply builders merchant ply it's pretty rubbish but the thickness of it's all over the place, but it's pretty, pretty close to 17.5 mil. Now that block without any shims in it, th that cut's gonna be 16 mil wide. Now I need 17.5, and you can see I screwed up here. I put a two millimeter shim in there and a 0.5 millimeter shim. Not the end of the world though, because I make my marks from the work adjacent workpiece that I need to cut to and then slide up the track so that this wasn't going to go wrong. I guess this has, has something to do with the uh, the rotating mass but all of those shims that are not on the inside now make, making the width up they need to go on the outside whatever you do you, you can't just leave them to one side. I guess it makes a massive difference to weight spinning uh, ratio whatever but that's important part to uh, not screw up. With a thing like this, it needs guards and they're pretty simple to fit. You've got this little green handle screwdriver thing with the Torx head on it. Doesn't really take long. Probably taking me longer because I'm on camera. The, the screws of the uh, plates just slot into place and bang, but it's pretty simple. It's as, as much for dust extraction uh, as safety. Um, I can't tell you the amount of times I've stuck the uh, extraction hose on the back end of that saw or not on that front out inlet or outlet whatever you want to call it and just got a clogged hose i mean you've got to use a big hose on this like 37 mil i think it is you can't use the regular uh, small sander hose for this i love these little touches that festal do hide the allen key lock the blade away happy days speaking of touches now you've got to remember depth of cut here and it's got a nice little scale on the side of the shroud really easy to work out you want a 10 mil cut I think it's if I can see right it's a 60 mil depth you need to set the saw to which is great there's no mass involved happy days as you can see and you set it to the FS because it's sitting on the FS rail 
Now this might make sense to some people. It might uh, take you some figuring out to know what I mean here. It sounds kind of slightly cryptic. The thing with measuring anything is often where you're woodworking and what you're making goes wrong. It's better to take relative measurements from what you're working with. So if I was to measure that board with a, a ruler, go that's 18 mil, then mark 18 mil, this isn't gonna work. But because I've used the piece of wood, it's his actual size, this is gonna work. Even though that I've cocked up with the cutter and put on what one, two mil wider cutter, made, made the cutter head two mil wider than it should have been. But it didn't go wrong because I, I was making the measurement relative to what I was working with. I hope that makes sense because it makes all the difference to your woodworking if you can understand that. In case you didn't get what I mean, if you take the workpiece, the piece of wood you're working with to what you need to do whatever with, whether it's taking a drawer front to a cabinet, you should mark your lines using that piece of wood at that cabinet. Don't use a ruler, don't use a tape measure, just work with what is in front of you. Pretty much call that a perfect rebait, also known as a rabbit with spelt with an E. I want to quickly cut a dado joint here and show you what I mean um, when it comes to plywood that isn't very good quality. Also known as a housing joint in the UK and Europe or a groove cut. Now this is going to look slightly unfair because we're f***ing around here with plywood that, well, just isn't any good and just isn't a regular thickness like you would if you stuck it through a planer. So obviously right now that when I stick this bit of plywood into that rebate, groove, dado, it's just falls in there. I mean, it's not a tight fit. It's crap. And there's, you can just see it, there's a... 2.5 mil problem there and that's not acceptable to me that's for sure i mean you can just get the end of that sharp pencil in that gap so nonetheless just to prove it it's nothing to do with at all i put some pine through the planer sorry thicknesser uh, a 17.5 mil and look at that tight as a ganache chuff that that's how i like it little twat to get that in there so in the comments below how do you like your dado tight as a ganache chuff or as tight as a duck's ass go on go on go on <laughs> go on go on